Hey guys, what's up? Code Red Mining. I want to make a video on how to get the Chinese virus off your L3 Plus. Um, I recently bought three from a local guy. He didn't know he buys them in batches of 150, but he had one that had the virus and every one that he checked infected the next. So what would happen is around every day at 10 a.m., my pools that you see in there would switch to these nice hash pools and it would, I would have to manually go in and switch them. I, I tried to use like um, the AP scanner to see if it could like stop them from changing it. I also tried changing the password. That also didn't work. So the only way to actually fix this is to reflash the control board. And this Chinese virus, um, you know, the Alibaba virus, whatever you want to call it, is pretty sneaky. So they also have a thing in it that will prevent you from the normal way of reflashing it. So if I wanted to just normally reflash this, I would go system, upgrade, and then you would say, hey, I want to add in the, uh, you know, I want to reflash it. But it won't let it happen. It'll act like it does it, but it doesn't do it. And then SCOA you know 10 a.m. the next day all of a sudden you're you're minding somebody else's pool and you know you you didn't fix crap so um I, after doing much research i i and uh, thanks to a lot of helpful people i went ahead and figured out how to do it so i wanted to make a video because it was actually much easier than i thought um, i will say hive os is the way to go um, because it has built-in virus protection so once you once you do fix it um, going high OS would be your best route so okay so um, I'm gonna provide links in the description but these are the files that you will need um, I'll put links to each one so here is the Remsung file so once you're done reflashing it in order to trick the program you need to first try to upload this remsec file you'll say it fails and then that's when you need to upload um, the hive the newest hive on so okay so the the file that you will load to your micro SD card which will look like I will show you this is the file you need to load your micro SD card it is directly from the bitmain website right there it's this one l3 plus um, I just went ahead and put it in one spot so in case anybody that comes to this video can get all three files in one spot um, and you know just to rephrase I am not taking credit for figuring out how to do this I am just making a video so it's more awareness I only found one video that allowed say the average person to do it right now without needing like a solder kit so I just want to make another video to make that more available to people who may need it so okay Let's start with, okay, hold, boom. It is a focus, focus, a 32 gigabyte. I wouldn't try, I wouldn't go bigger than that. I was doing some research that some bigger sizes will not work. So yeah, 32 gig I know works for sure. So, all right, I have this thing. You put in your computer, you flash that bitmain file onto that. You put the, you put the disk image onto it. So you download that, you extract it, and then you want to put the image on this and you want to use Belena Etcher. I will also leave a, a link in the description for that as well. Okay, you get your board out. Hey, this is my board from my infected Alibaba virus. We'll be sent, you know, we don't want to be claiming, we know, you know, it could have been an American who made the virus. It could have been a Russian, it could have been could have been old JC himself. So, okay. You got your control board out of your miner. Super easy. Um, there's like these little clips on the side. You undo it. You pull out your Ethernet cable. You unplug everything. The board slides right out. It's not rocket science. I'm going to hope everybody to this point knows how to get their own control board out. I promise it's not hard. I'm just trying to save time in this video not show that as well okay so as you can see I just have a little 550 power supply I got the little dummy plug on it my other supplies I have are rubber gloves I have it lifted off the table in like a bubble wrap and then you need tweezers 
that are metal. You don't want rubber on them. Okay, so you're gonna take, and I may have to set the camera down occasionally, and I apologize about that. I need a cameraman. My wife's busy with the baby. So you're gonna, it goes the other way, but all right, you're gonna slide your SD chip in, boom. We're gonna glove up. We are gloved up, ready to rock. All right. So I am going to plug six pin. Focus, focus. Sorry, my hands are getting in the way. Focus. All right, the six pin. Gonna plug in the board. My power supply is not on yet. As you can see, the fan is not spinning. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. All right, SD card is in. So what you're going to do, you're going to look right here. So here's the SD card right there. Bottom row right here. Right here, this bottom row. You're gonna count over one, two, and three. This is the pin that we wanna short. This tricks the board it tricks that Alibaba virus. So what you're going to do is that third pin right there, you're going to touch your tweezers on this side right here, and you're going to touch this third pin. So let me get it on there. So, boom. And then you're going to flip on your power supply. So let me do that. All right, power supply, you see the light come on. You're gonna see these lights come on down here. You're gonna get about five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Take your tweezers off. You are now, we're gonna just let this do this thing. It's in live time. You're gonna see these lights stay on. They're gonna go off in a moment. Anytime. And as you also see, I do not have the ethernet plug plugged in. Do not have your ethernet plug in. So, okay, as you can see, the lights went off. We're going to, it'll take about 20 seconds. And then when those lights come back on, we know that it's finished. So let's go ahead and wait. And please ask any questions down in the comments. Um, this seems to be like a a really common thing happening that all these miners, the L L3 pluses, you know, that they're charging us $1,300 for are coming with these viruses on them. All right, see it's blinking, blinking. And that means we are good. That means it is now flashed with the, with the new stuff from the chip. We're gonna go ahead, turn off our power supply, boom. Lights turn off. Come on, power supply. There we go. Lights turn off. We're going to go ahead, remove our SD chip. Make sure you put that back in a safe spot so you don't lose it. And then we are going to turn the port back on. And we have no Ethernet cable in it yet. The port is back on. We're going to give it about one minute for the port to fire up. And then we will plug in an Ethernet cable. Let's go ahead and give it a good 30 seconds here. Like I said, any questions, please ask them in the comments. This is not my original idea that came up with this. I just wanted to make it more readily available and more options for people to watch. Um, because, I, I, like I said, I only found one video showing this, and I know for sure it works. This is the third one I'm doing this to. I had, well, the way the, the Alibaba virus works is it infects any L3 Plus that's on the network. So I had one flash to Hive and the other two were not flashed yet. And the Hive OS has virus protection on it. I got a notification on Hive OS that my IP addresses attached to my L3 Pluses were trying to attack my other one. And of course, Hive OS, you know, blocked it, but that just, you know, solidifies the the notion that yes it is infecting other ones okay i'm gonna go ahead and plug the ethernet line in all right ethernet is in hang on here i also run all my l3 pluses off a, a switch 
And from what I've read, the switch or the virus cannot inf infect the switch, but it can infect your router. But as far as I know, once you remove it from all of your so I need to find the L3 Plus or the control board. So I'm going to load up Advanced IP Scanner. Let me go ahead and do it. Drop down bar. We're going to load up that page. And drag it over. Or drag it over here. Oops. Well, let's try that again. As you all know, if you don't know this, the original password is root, root username, root password. That is the same for all Bitmain L3 Pluses. We're going to sign in. Doesn't matter. Yeah, sure, we'll save. Okay, very first thing we want to do is go to administrator. And we're going to change our password. Change it to whatever you want, of course, but obviously safety first. We're going to update. All right, passwords update. So, yep, okay, here we go. It's going to make us re-sign in. Update, why not? All right. These are just basic pools. So those are like the basic ant mine pools. So yeah, you can see like, so this is the updated one with that. That's us. So okay, what we're gonna do is go system, upgrade. We're gonna, we're gonna use this remseg file and it's gonna basically prep the system. It's gonna trick it. Let's go to your confirm, yes. Oh, upload image. Oh, it didn't like that. Okay, so we go back. We're going to browse, and then we are going to upload the newest hive, and it should accept it now. Yes. You'll find out pretty quick if it doesn't, but you'll also find out pretty quick if it does, because all of a sudden you'll see it turn into hive on down at the bottom there. see where it changed to hive on so we know it's gonna work so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys one more thing because it drove me nuts after I did this so I already have like I have GPUs and stuff I have other ASICs already on a hive on you know farm and it kept I kept reading oh you need to attach it to your farm now how the hell do you attach it to your farm I don't see where you do this and they kept showing these pictures of like where you add in your farm hash and this page was I had no idea where they were getting it from so I'm gonna go ahead and show you because it was just so simple and I figured it out by mistake but you know common sense says I should have done it and known better but this will take a, another few seconds so uh, in the meantime I will suggest uh, any of you people that GPU mine I want you to come mine with me on easel pool the link will be below um, it's a great pool it's a dual mine pool you get ethereum and zilliqa your payout times are the same as Ethermine. Mine are even sometimes quicker, but I also get paid Zillica as well. Uh, just use the link down below, and it's a, I mean, it's a great pool. I, and the and it's so easy to set up. You can have a wallet with Zillica and Ethermine on Exodus. Exodus wallet has both of them. And then the Ezil homepage, it will literally just create the bat file for you if you just type in what you put, you basically, Put in your wallets and your pool and all that stuff and then we'll spit it out for you and all you do is copy and paste that into your miner all right here we go okay so as you can see okay boom we're in hive on so okay i was like oh my god where do you put in put in your your, your farm hash refresh and then it, op it creates this tab right here and then you put in your farm hash the hive on the hive on thing it's just so much cooler you can do there's so many more options for overclocking auto tuners you know it, it's just it's just uh much more well made so okay this video has already gone on long enough i'm going to go ahead and stop it here 
And if there's any questions, please direct them down in the comments. Please like and subscribe. I, I mean, I know this isn't like a great quality video, but it is an important video. And I think it's important for people to know this. Uh, yeah, you guys have a great day, and I will see you later. Bye.